Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Hey, Virgo. It's the Night Chase Casey Nicole back again with the shenanigans as always. You guys, this is your September love forecast to see what is coming towards you guys in the month of September, Virgo. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that life is treating you well. Thank you so much for your love and support. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, post notifications, anything that you feel comfortable doing. Okay, y'all remember, it's a full moon coming up. Full moon. Get ready for that shit. Set your intentions. Write down your list. Figure out what you need, what you want, so that it can come towards you. Okay, Virgo? Let's go ahead and see what is coming towards my what is coming towards my Virgo's guardian angel in regards to love in the month of September. Ooh, strength. Could be a Leo. Okay, look at that. Half her face is aligned. Definitely. What else? Ooh, justice. Ooh, Virgo. I see some new love coming at you. You getting justice for all this bullshit you've been dealing with. What else coming towards my Virgos in September? What else is coming towards my Virgos in the month of September? Uh-oh, 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 oh. That's too much. Y'all see all them cards? Let's just look at them. Mm. Mm-mm. A lot of thoughts and reflection. That was too many. What else is coming toward my Virgo? Clearly guardian angels. All right. Yeah. I feel like you're being strong. Okay. I feel like you may have a Leo coming towards you, possibly a fire sign coming towards you in the month of September. That is going to bring you justice from situations in the past. I feel like recently you have felt left out in the cold Virgo by someone or you have put somebody out. <laughs> I'm getting a few different stories from a few different people. This is why I say you might have put somebody out because the Six of Swords is here. Okay? I feel like this person regrets, excuse me, possibly how they treated you to cause you to put them out. Or you just left because you couldn't take how this person was treating you anymore, this person in the past. Okay? And now they feel just down in the fucking dumps. Okay, but I feel like somebody new is coming towards you as well this month. And it's going to bring you justice from the situation that you were dealing with in the past. Okay, what does my Virgo not see? What do my Virgos not see? Tell me, show me what they don't see. Okay, Queen of Cups. This is somebody I feel like that is going to be balanced. They are going to give you love, but they're also going to expect a lot in return as well. Okay. They're gonna be they're gonna share their emotions with you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay. Okay, these wanted to flip right on over. Wow, four of wands. Oh, y'all are gonna have something. Man, I feel like y'all are gonna have something stable. This person is gonna share their emotions with you. They're gonna be genuine with you, uh, Virgo. I feel like they are going to expect the same in return. Okay, and they're going to be looking for a higher level of commitment with this higher five card. This person going to want to get married. Virgo, who's got want to get married? And they're going to be stable. They're going to have their money together. You possibly have your money together too. Okay, but they are going to give you the love I feel like that you deserve. And y'all are going to have... A happy family. Y'all are going to have a nice house. Y'all going to be out here celebrating and living your best life, dancing around in the streets and shit, playing tambourines. I'm just playing. Y'all might not be playing tambourines, but you could play music. This person could love music. Y'all could go dancing a lot. You know what I'm saying? King of Swords. This person is going to be honest with you. They may be a little cold at first to open up because I feel like they could possibly be like somebody who's really like about their money i'm just trying to let y'all see the card um but it could possibly be somebody who's really about their money but they're really traditional i feel like as well okay and they're going to expect possibly a lot out of you okay virgo so get ready this is a new person okay guardian angels what action is this new person 
going to take towards my Virgos in the month of September? What action is this new person going to take? That's a lot of fucking cards. Let's do it again. Y'all remember, it's my channel. I can do what the fuck I want. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Guardian Angels, what action is this person clearly going to take? Okay. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords. Oof. They're gonna get, they're gonna want to bring you some truth. I feel like you're gonna be indecisive on this person. Okay, you're gonna have to make a decision about what you really want. Okay, Knight of Cups. Hmm. This could possibly be the past person trying to come back and apologize. That's what I'm getting. I was thinking, and I really feel like this could be the past person trying to come back and apologize, honestly, okay? Your new person honestly could be coming in too, bringing you flowers, okay? This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. You got, um, let's see how many cups you got. You got one, two cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you got swords, 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 Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I feel like that is the past person. Okay, you got swords here. Okay, you got a lot of swords. And you could possibly be dealing with an earth sign, uh, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? Working on my signs, y'all. But I feel like you're going to be trying to decide what you want to do. You're going to look at this. I, I feel like you're going to look at both situations from a different perspective. Because honestly, I feel like your new person is going to come in, but they're going to come in with a lot of expectations. I feel like they are going to want to commit to you immediately. If not, you know, very shortly after you guys meet, they're going to want to be in a relationship, be in a higher level of commitment, possibly propose to you. But I feel like um, this past person is causing you to be indecisive about what you really want. So you need to decide now what you really want. Because I feel like they're going to, if you don't decide what you want, they're going to feel like you're being sneaky, okay? They're going to feel like you're not making a decision with this hangman, right? And you may have to go within. You may end up not taking this new offer from this person. Because for whatever reason, you could still feel heartbroken or... You know, just use. You know how when you deal with a rat or you deal with a fucking bald head hoe out here in the streets. You know, when I say bald head hoe, that could be a man or a woman. Okay? I'm not talking about women. Whenever you want bald head hoe shit, you just acting like a bald head hoe. It ain't the fact that you a man or a woman. But when, once you deal with somebody who's like that and you have somebody come in immediately after that to try to, like, commit to you, it's like you're shell-shocked. Okay? I know it. I honestly, I feel that. I feel like you're going to be really shell-shocked about any new situation, Virgo, because because oh, it's just you You went through a lot. You know, it was a burden for you. Look at that. This person was not, this other person was not bringing you anything solid, and that was a major burden. You was trying to push those offers away because they were absolutely doing the fucking most. Sometimes I split the deck in my hand, guys. Guardian Angels, what's the strength? I was about to say, what's the strength card? Judgment in reverse. You did not give this person a second chance or you are in the process of telling this person that you're not giving them a second chance. You're trying to be strong in that decision. What's the justice card? What's the justice card? Mm. Four of Pentacles. Y'all see I'm trying to pick this shit up. Four of Pentacles. Okay. You're going to be... You, you, you're, I feel like you're holding back, but it came out kind of sideways, y'all saw it. So I feel like in order for you to get justice, I'm going to take it reverse because in order for you to get justice, you're going to have to stop holding back. Okay. You're going to have to go within. You're going to have to heal. You're going to have to find the strength, you know, that you're already looking to find, I feel. Okay. You're going to feel complete once you let go a little bit once you kind of release it and let god handle it or let whoever you believe handle when you leave it in the universe's hands okay what is the five of pinnacles 
five of cups, two fives. The person that you left behind, it's like they cannot get over it. They regret how they treated you. What's the six of swords? They really regret how they treated you. Because they were not moving. Either they were not giving you the offer that you wanted or they were not moving fast enough for you. I feel like they weren't moving in the direction that you wanted them to move. They were focused on either their money or something else. They were focused on getting their car, getting their house. They were focused on their money. They were focused on material things all the time. And you just didn't want to deal with that type of person. Maybe they were really like shallow. I heard the word shallow. They were really shallow. They maybe was always worried about your looks and things. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Mm. Six of Cups. This could possibly this. I still feel like this Queen of Cups is a new person. They're going to want to make memories with you, Virgo. This could be somebody who you've already known in your past. This could be somebody who you've dealt with in the past. Maybe y'all were just friends. Okay, four of wands, four of wands. What's that here for? They're going to come in with a lot of passion for you. And they're going to want to start a new beginning. They're going to watch you online. Okay. They're going to like your pictures, be on your page. You see what I'm saying? But they're going to, they, they have a lot of passion for you. And they want to come in really fast. That's what I said earlier. Coming in fast. Okay. Coming in and, and possibly want to offer you a relationship right off the bat. And you kind of like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on now. But I feel like if you let go a little bit, you're going to get justice with this person. And you're, you're you know, ultimately going to have happiness with this person, right? Because they're very passionate. Ooh, they want to rush in. They think you fine. They think you are fine, Virgo. They are enamored with you. They want to come in and, and put in teamwork with you. They want to build with you, work with you. This could be somebody who you work with. Why is the heart front here? Shit. Wow, this person wants to fuck. They want to come in with, with you. They see you as being very... I feel like the Queen of Wands, they know that you may have like a little spoiled side. I feel like they know that you want to get your way in the situation. But I feel like they're also willing to give you what you want. They want to give you this passion. It's like whatever it is that you whatever it is that you want, they want to give it to you. Okay? I feel like this person is gonna be waiting on you hand and foot, Virgo. Shit. Go on, bring them to me. All right. What's the King of Pentacles here for? Guardian Angels, why is the King of Pentacles here? Right. Ooh. Yeah. This is a very stable person, I feel like, but they see that you are, mm. I feel like they see that you're really defensive because of this other situation ending. See, death card, hermit card. They know that you are going within to like try to heal, okay? I feel like this person is very stable. They want to be that husband or wife to you. They want to provide for you. They probably have a nice ass house and a nice ass car. They probably have a lot of material things as well. But they know that you're being defensive because you're heartbroken and, you know, basically distraught over whatever this past situation is that you went through. But I feel like they're willing to help you heal with that, okay? They're gonna be truthful with you. They're not gonna sugarcoat things with you. They're gonna be like that that tough love person. I heard tough love. Guardian Angels, what's the King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? They're gonna tell you that they know that you could, they're gonna, they know, they know that you're confused. But it's like, you're manifesting what you want like 
This person is going to be really truthful with you. They're going to be supportive of you. I feel like they know that you're defensive, but they're manifesting you in they're they're what you are what they want to choose. I'm tongue tied. You are really what they want to choose, Virgo. Like you are their first choice. They have other choices, they have other options, but they've manifested you. And they may have other people that you see around them and this could also be causing you to feel that they may be a little cold. They may not have any emotions, but this person does have emotions. They have choices too, but they're manifesting you into their life, Virgo. This is a new person. Because whatever this heartbreak situation is, they could have witnessed this. Like I said, they could have been somebody who worked with you and witnessed you going through this, right? What's the Ace of Swords? Hmm. Four of Cups. They're going to give you some type of clarity with this Ace of Swords, but with the Four of Cups with it, let me see. I feel like whatever they're going to tell you, initially, you may not believe it. And whatever they're going to tell you it's like you're over it i feel like that's but that's what i've been it's like you're indecisive you're over it because <sighs> virgo honestly i feel like whoever this was this past person has really fucked over your life what's the two of swords two of swords this this past person got you real confused okay temperance and the Page of Cups. You're indecisive because you're trying to get your balance back. Okay? And the old person that was in your life is going to come and try to apologize to you. Right as you're, right as you're getting your shit together, this old person is going to try to come back in and apologize. And you're trying to balance yourself from... Basically, you're not making a decision with this new person because you're trying to balance yourself from these old, weak-ass situations. That's honestly what I see. What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? Mm. Yeah, that's what I said. I feel like this person's trying to apologize. They were very toxic with this devil card. They always felt you had you feeling trapped. You felt like you were trapped in this relationship. This person was probably a player, King of Wands. They always wanted their way. That's why you felt trapped. And now it's like you're in this four of swords energy where you are just like really trying to relax, rest, relax, and release whatever that shit was. Like I said in the beginning, you're trying to be strong because you basically were like, no, I'm not, I, I choose not to be with you because you're too much for me. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got. One, two. Three, four, five, six, six, so seven, seven swords, right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six cups, wands. Oh, eight swords. Damn. Wands. One, two back here, three, four, four wands. Mm -hmm. One, two, three pinnacles. I really don't think this person is um another Virgo, but I don't know. It could be anybody. It, everybody got everything in their fucking chart. So honestly, when people say signs, it really don't make no sense because a lot of people have everything in their chart. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords, Guardian Angels? Come on. What's the Seven of Swords? Right. So this new person want to come in and talk to you, Virgo. They want to give you, they, they want to offer you the truth they, they want to tell you their truth. I feel like they want to tell you that you mean something to them. 
you are a person that they want in their life. They want to have a new beginning with you because they are really attracted to you. They see a, a future with you. They remember the good times that you guys had because I feel like y'all have known each other. And this person is very stable, but they know you've been heartbroken, right? But they do want to offer you a commitment, help you get through this heartbreak. But you're indecisive and you're trying to build your strength back up, okay? You're trying to have patience with yourself and build your strength back up so you're not sure if you really want to take this offer. Meanwhile, this old motherfucker is going to come in and try to get their way with you, be toxic, and you you know that this person is trying to get away with whatever the fuck that they're trying to get away with. They're trying to be a thief in the night. And they're being really sneaky about how they act because they just want to have victory. They want to get what they want at all costs, right? There you go again, Knight of Cups. This person is an in and out person. But you're going to leave this person out in the cold. You're not fooling with them. I don't see you fooling with them. Okay, Virgo? I do not see you fooling with them. At all. Not whatsoever. I feel like they hurt you so much. It's like you're not going to even talk. I, you probably going to ghost them. You probably have already ghosted them. They probably been sending text messages to your phone. And one is, oh, I'm so sorry, Virgo. I apologize. Can we talk? Can we get together real quick? I just need to tell you something. No. I feel like you already ghosting their ass. Let's pull some cards from the Mystic Bees official, unofficial deck. Are the angels? What is this old person trying to get in contact with my Virgos for? What are they trying to say, Guardian Angels? What is this old person trying to say to my Virgos, Guardian Angels? Please give some messages to them. Ooh, okay. Any more? Ooh, too many. Too many. They really been they've been blowing your phone up, ain't they? They've been blowing your phone up in your DMs and everything else, ain't they? They're watching you on social media. Anything else they want to say? Okay. It's not important. Is it anything else? Anything else? Oh, okay. I feel like they talk a big game, but they ain't about shit. Mm. You forced me to heal my wounds. Because you told them the truth, Virgo. You told them what the fuck it was. Let's see. What's the last two? Let's see. What's the last two? What is the last two? Ooh, too many responsibilities. And what the hell? Yeah. Because you ghosted them. You went into a reclusive mode, okay? You are taking care of yourself, Virgo. And that's what I feel like is the best advice for you. But in September, beware, this person is going to keep coming back, trying to apologize, but you're also going to have somebody new coming into your life. So you need to decide what you want, guys, figure out what it is, and stick to it, okay, Virgo? I love y'all. Thank you so much for your patience. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And remember, stick to the positivity today. Be blessed, and let no one steal your joy, booze. Bye.